Ben ritrovati a tutti in questo nuovo episodio. Queste sono le prestazioni del nostro giocatore. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The forwards for them, Tatum and Porzingis. Houdini is out there with Brown, and it's Horford in at the center position. And for the Trailblazers, Henderson and Simons, they have guard duties. Grant is out there with Sharp, and it's Williams at the five. Roaming the paint. Here we are, Smitty, right smack dab in the dog days of the season. How are the bodies feeling, you think, at this stage of the schedule? Kevin, if they tell you everyone's 100% healthy, that's just not true. Avoiding major injuries is huge for a team. But all players deal with aches and pains throughout the course of the season. And it's the Celtics to start out. Well, guys, MP's got the matchup with Scoot Henderson tonight. It marks the first time ever meeting between these two terrific players. When we talk about Scoot Henderson, who stands about 6'3", it's all about his strength and leaping ability that makes it feel like he's way taller. So I put a bigger defender on him and try to slow him down just a bit. And perhaps a bit of a feeling out process, but... I expect it won't take long for them to get it going and put on a show. Already a gifted passer, Henderson has solid vision for such a young player. So it's Boston now, and this game the first chance they've had to see Portland. Yeah, an interconference matchup, and these are two teams at different ends of the spectrum as far as the talent is concerned. Now here's Tatum. And the shot goes down. Tatum's got his second bucket of the night. Nice little finish there inside from Tatum. He is so quick to get up when he's near the rim. Hey, GA, you went to back-to-back -to -back conference finals with Portland. What's it like playing here? I mean, this building is as loud as any in the NBA. The fans are tremendous, very loyal. I really enjoyed my time here in Rip City. Here's Houdini following the basket by Robert Williams. Celtics passing it around. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. That's fine. No problem. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Now here's Henderson. He's covered closely. And he overshot that one, missing. And mark that one down right there. It's going to be a long time until we see him miss another one like that. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Henderson for three. Kicks it out to Grant. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. They say he 3 and D. That was all three. Jeremy Grant's becoming a very consistent outside shooter. And the pass to Persingas. Here's Houdini. Henderson defending. Four on the shot clock. And here's Tatum for three. Trains the three-pointer. Tatum's got seven points in the game. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. In the corner, Henderson with it. Henderson with another miss. Well, it was the Boston Celtics winning their last game against the Suns in Phoenix. Horford the pass to Persingas. Now Tatum takes a three. Henderson pulls it in. And that was a heat check right there. First miss of the night, but still shooting 80% as a team. Pass to Sharp. 
Henderson outside. Passes it to Sharp. Bounce pass for Williams. Here's Grant. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Grant's got his second basket. Good touch from Jeremy Grant. Able to get himself inside and get the job done. And one thing you love about Jeremy Grant is his versatility as a player. GA plays both ends with activity and skill. A switchable 6'8 frame. He's a plug and play on any roster in this league. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. Porzingis can't hit. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. It's Henderson on the wing. Let's it go with a three. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. Pass to Houdini. Horford against Williams. Here's Brown. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded and easy miss it too. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for the Trailblazers. Drew Holiday is checked in for the Celtics. For three, Henderson rebounded by the Celtics. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Brown kicks to Horford. Now Brown. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Grant outside. Henderson outside. A pass to Williams. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. Nice pass. You love how Sharp anticipates situations. Celtics trail by five. Pass to Holiday. Inside. Here's Houdini. And that time, also a missed shot. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Henderson dishes to Grant. It's Brogdon on the wing. Hits it from three-point range. Oh, great ball movement there. For Boston, they've gone 50% from the field at this point, four of eight. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Substitution on the court. For Lindley. Grant comes in for Murray. And Shaden Sharp subbed in for Michich. Now Horford's checked in for the Celtics. Houdini comes in for Curry. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. On the court right now for the Celtics. Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. Holiday out there with Houdini, and it's Gabriel in at the five down low. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Celtics trail by 13. Getting the weight is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin. Houdini in that last game against the Suns provided a nice lift. He scored 12 points and did a great job of finding his open teammates as he put up big assist numbers for him. Surprise attack from a guy who's typically viewed as a role player. Let's see if he can continue to play a larger role in tonight's game. Thanks, David. He took command, and Greg really led the fight for his team. You like someone who's willing to take control, but, but then again, tonight could turn out to be a different story. Whether he's scoring, facilitating, hitting the glass, his focus is just to provide whatever they need for the win. Robert Williams, he's checked in free. Zinkis, he's checked in for Boston. Jalen Brown comes in for Drew Holland. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. 
Simons, the pass to Brogdon. Off target from three-point range. Celtics trail by 13. Brown outside. To the middle. Here's Houdini. The dish to Horford. Banked in off the glass. Horford's got his first bucket of the night. And inside the paint really is where Horford goes to work. Still athletic enough and, and really makes it look easy. The shot by Brogdon wide open. Gets a very good look and converts. Brogdon's got the lead up to 13 now for Portland. And what a score Anthony Simons has become, Steve. Wow. I love it, Kevin, because he can do it from all three levels. Smooth jumper, uses his body to protect the ball when he's driving inside, and some nights he's unstoppable. Heads up play by Simons. He sees a better opportunity for his team and moves the ball. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And the dunk by Horford. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. You know, Greg, the way Malcolm Brockett is used in the catch-and-shoot game, it makes that offense very difficult to stop. Well, he's a high-percentage shooter, doesn't go through many ups and downs, and when he doesn't have the look he wants, he's willing to get off the ball. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Henderson's checked in. Austin also with the sub. Holiday's checked in. Brogdon hits them both. And it's not uncommon to see arguments boil over between teammates, Steve. Sports has a different line than most professions, don't you think? I do, Kevin. I agree. The physicality and competition factors into that. Most of these guys, you don't argue, but if you have a common goal of winning, usually that takes care of everything. Henderson, no one around him. Portland again, missing. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Holiday, the pass to Houdini. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. And working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Now let's take a moment to get your guys take on the scoring so far for the Trailblazers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Simons has checked in. Ready finished by Sharp. These buckets should help build his confidence. Celtics trail by 14. Singus passes to Houdini. He feeds it to Holiday. Bucket is good. Holiday's got five. Beautiful ball movement. Draw and kick. The defense can't catch up. For three, Henderson. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got rebound number five here tonight. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And it's easy to give up after a play like that, but this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Now here's Henderson coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. Krill's the three-pointer. He's got eight. His second make from beyond the arc this quarter after hitting none in the first. To the inside, here's Houdini. Rebound by the Trailblazers. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. And a lot of that was game plan. Putting guys in a position to succeed, particularly on the offensive end. They understood what the defense was trying to take away and game planned a great strategy to take advantage of it. And so it's Portland. Their lead at 15 going into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We come back right after this.
Hello, everybody. Before getting into the first half recap, let's check in on the injured players around the NBA. The Sixers getting bit by the injury bug. It's a challenge playing without Embiid, not just on the offensive end, but the rim protection. No doubt, one of the game's great players. Injury is the only thing that can slow him down. And fellas, looking now with the first half of play, ground to make up a major deficit for the Boston Celtics. They're rolling out the red carpet in the lane, and everybody's on the guest list. They need to call security, tighten it up. You know what, Shaq? You'd be a good bouncer. I mean, heck, you could just, like, do that as a side hustle. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, guys, Malcolm Brogdon has been exceptional here tonight. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Anderson and Simons, they have guard duties. Jeremy Grant is out there with Rob Williams. And it's sharp, and it's a small forward. So that's who Chauncey Billups starts the second half with. And not every pig can hit from there. But Horford has that versatility because that man has put in work. Here's Grant. And Boston with the rebound. Persingas has got six rebounds now in the game. Brown inside, covered by Simon. Bounce pass from Tatum. Boutini sinks that one from the post. Houdini's got his second bucket of the night. Love the selflessness. Tatum willing to give it up whenever he sees an open teammate. Henderson for three. Knocks down the three ball. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Here's Henderson following the basket by Al Horford. Oh, good on the three. Here's Houdini. Henderson defending to the paint. Here's Houdini. Off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. Even though that one didn't go down, I like the offensive game plan here. Three for four coming out of the break. Here's Henderson. Henderson with another miss. Celtics trail by 11. Scoot Henderson became the youngest G League player ever in 2021. And Greg, he was only 17 then. And Kevin really speaks to his abilities that he was ready for that near NBA level of competition at such an early age. And while we've got him on, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Oldham. David? Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Simons grew up under the tutelage of his father workout regimen sometimes left his son in tears. Anthony said, I didn't get real joy from working out until middle school. By high school, it was just a normal day. It was so ingrained into me, working out extra and getting up as many shots as possible. Kevin? Well, it brought him here, David. Thank you so much for the story. Here's Henderson following the basket by Jalen Brown. Simons from outside. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Simons has got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Trailblazers. Outside, Brzingis. Outside, Tatum. Just five on the clock. Over, Sharp. It'll go. The Portland lead is cut down now to just ten points with that basket from Tatum. Well, you know Jason Tatum can score, and that's exactly what he's done thus far. And he comes up with the deuce. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Brown feeling out a bit. Back to Horf. Celtics passing it around. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. Outside, Porzingis. 
It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. Sharp, the pass to Anderson. From 12 feet out. With the second effort, he lays it in. Anderson's got 10 points in the game. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. So the Celtics call timeout their first. Brogdon, he's checked in for Portland. Drew Holiday's checked in for Boston. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Chris Depps Porzingis. And guys, I think the best way to measure his performance these last 10 games is his effective field goal percentage, which has improved a sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. Now here's Brown. He has seven. And here's Tatum for three. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Here's Henderson. No good off the back of the rim. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a look now at the Celtics' upcoming schedule. On Tuesday, they'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. Then on Thursday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Phoenix Suns. And for their matchup with Detroit, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. Andre Ayton's checked in for Robert Williams. That one misses. Trailblazers leading by 10. For three, Henderson. It's hauled in by Brown. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Houdini. The kick out to Brown. Down low. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And it's easy to give up after a play like that. But this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Murray comes in for Grant. And it's... in the third quarter for the Trailblazers. Robert Williams is checked in for Murray. And it's Simons in for Henderson. Here's Houdini. On the floor for Boston. Holiday out there with Houdini. Then it's Tatum. And it's Gabriel in at the five. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. And how about the willpower of Tatum? He just takes over and finishes through the contact. There's a screen by Williams. Takes the 13-footer and finished off by Williams. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Celtics trail by 19. Inside, here's Houdini. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists now in this one. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Micic, the best to Brogdon. Simon from outside. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. To the inside. Nice pass. Right under the rack, perfectly for the layup. They are just killing them on the interior. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. the Trailblazers. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for DeAndre. Shaden Sharp comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. And Henderson subbed in for Michich. And 
Simon Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Grant loses his grip and misses the dunk. Celtics trail by 18. Here's Brown with the three. The rebound by Grant. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. It's good. And the Trailblazers lead by 20. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Porzingis finds Brown. To the paint, here's Houdini. Porzingis trying to get free. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with this new in-season tournament, great, right, the NBA continuing to innovate. Are they getting, though, two out there for you? Or do you like it? Listen, I think it pays to be bold. And I'll be one to admit, I was not a fan of the play-in. But I got to tell you, it's been a tremendous success. So I've got an open mind. We've seen players criticized for skipping their media obligations after tough losses, Greg. How egregious is that, in, in your opinion? Well, you know, they say the true test of character is how you respond to when things aren't going your way. So, for me, it's important to be accountable in those tough moments. And here's Tatum for three. Connects from three-point range. Tatum's got 20. Never a bad idea setting Tatum up. Passes it to Sharp. Back to Henderson. Simons from outside. Here's Williams. And it's Williams throwing it down. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by 20. 158 left in the game. One fifty-eight left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Horford. Outside, Tatum. To the middle, here's Houdini. Anderson pulls it in. Trailblazers leading by 20. Simons with the ball. Pass to Sharp. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter, and it's slammed in by Williams. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Trailblazers. Fewer miscues made the difference. Yeah, I mean, a great all-around effort. Not only did they minimize their turnovers, but kept the pressure up on D, forcing the other team to commit turnovers. And when it's all said and done here, this will mark their 38th W on the year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box, there were some great numbers for Ann Fernie Simon. Woo, he put on a clinic tonight. Terrific vision, sees the whole floor, and he hits guys in their spots with pinpoint dives. Catching up on the changes for Portman. Aiton, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Murray comes in for Jeremy Grant. Brockton, he's checked in for Sharp. And it's Michic in for Scoot Henderson. Persingas with a screen on Simon. Count that one. Oh, good work from the mid-range there. Tatum likes taking that shot when he can create space. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. The pass to Simons. Portland no good that time either. Down low, Houdini passes to Horford. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Blazers ball. Substitution on the court. 
Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's Micic. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. They poured it on a night. Dominic showing in front of the crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time. Se ti è piaciuto questo video metti un bel like e ricordati di iscriverti al canale. Arrivederci al prossimo episodio.